Generic greetings, and welcome back once again to a chill session on Power Wash Simulator. In the previous episode, we cleaned a public toilet. Let's just take a moment to actually think about what we've done. Yeah, yeah, we did that. Either way, it was a fairly decent mission. In fact, one of the best in the game, one of the most enjoyable. I think uh, the back garden, the bungalow, certainly the skate park and such, uh, some of my favourites because they're all very low down and quite nice flat surfaces. Good for some... Uh, Nice, satisfying cleaning. In this episode, we're going to have a look at the Helter Skelter. This is at the Muckingham Recreational Ground. So, Kevin Bernard, or Bernard, uh, as you know from previous correspondence, my Helter Skelter is filthy dirty after rolling down the entire length of Willow Creek. We don't need to revisit specifics. All we need to concern ourselves with is that we cannot live in a world where Helter Skelter uh, is being economically outperformed by a carousel. Many thanks, Kevin. Start the job. We have enough money to buy pretty much anything we want, although sadly we do have everything we want i say sadly it's not sadly it's great it just would be nice if we bought had some more stuff to buy in the game <clears throat> excuse me by the way today's beverage is a low calorie tonic water very nice and apparently good for cramps don't know if that's true but uh, yes i have some either way not cramps just uh, tonic water anyway loading in we will have a look around the typical procedures apply on this one we'll have a look around the place see what uh see what we're dealing with and check out the dirt on the thing and just generally figure out an order of cleaning or we'll just start spraying everywhere and eventually we'll get it done so yeah i don't know how large the job is it's a health skeleton after all so it will be i guess quite a reasonably sized job and it's also going to be very vertical which is not something i overly enjoy so <clears throat> Right, we'll have a quick look at the Helter Skelter. Uh, actually, first thing, yes, there you go. This is what we cleaned previously. So is this the first instance of a, a something we've cleaned being back into the map? Uh, maybe, maybe. So we cleaned that one previously. It looks like the button to turn it on has uh, been moved. The Helter Skelter is, it is quite tall. Can we go inside it? Uh, we'll have a quick look. And no, no, we cannot. I mean, what would you put inside there? I have no idea. We're just going to jump up and we're going to walk up here. Um, it is a trough, so we can't slip off either side, which is good. To be fair, we could probably very much slip off with all of the uh, muck and dirt on there. You can see there's some some lights that we'll have to clean eventually. I'm oh, envisaging cleaning in between this is going to be a bit of a nightmare, isn't it? Okay, up to the top and obviously we have our... Uh, what does that say? Pick up. Oh, we can pick up that from here, can we? And, yeah, anyway, we have this up top. It goes round to this edge. And, hang on. Uh, where is... Well, oh, there, right. So you go in the bottom, go up the stairs, and then come out there. Yes, fair enough. Up the top here, we have what essentially could be a flagpole. Hmm? It's not essentially. It is a flagpole. It actually specifically says flagpole. So let's just... Have a little clean here we are going to try to clean top down but as always we will see as we progress on if that's uh, going to be the case or not and there's the flagpole the top is yeah it's not classed as something different okay so let's just begin cleaning we're going to clean top down and you may notice that we have over there we have our um, we have our spits of scaffolding there, and that will be used quite extensively on this map, I would imagine. Uh, do I want to clean all the way to the edge? I think I do. So this is the roof here. That's what this is classed as. So we'll clean over there. <coughs> Excuse me. And let you see how far we get. So... That and that. Ah, okay, the roof cap is separate. So what we'll do is we'll clean the roof cap. And we'll clean all of this. Um, it is possible to stand on the edge here and spray all the way down to get the majority of the dirt. Not all of it, but it's possible to get a lot of it. Because of the distances involved, there is no overspray down there. You see, we are able to get a little bit at the top, but not most of it. So it sprays just a little bit there. 
but it's not reaching to the floor. That's all right, though. Previous missions, we've done a lot of vertical surfaces. The fire station being a prime example. The fire station was not overly difficult because it was a lot of flat surfaces, but it was just the scale of the thing. It was quite large. And there we go. And curious. I've done what I think is the majority of this, but I'm guessing if we go down here, there'll be, yeah, underneath. Okay, that's fine. In fact, what we'll do is we'll alter the angle, spray sideways, and spray around here. There we go. Can't go any further because of that, so we'll go this way. And eventually we'll start going down because we'll be on the edge of that. Yeah, okay. I see the use of scaffolding in my future. Spray underneath. Follow this round. And I think if we jump off. Can we get the edge over there? Yeah, there we go. Okay. Not too bad. <clears throat> so, let's go ahead and clean... Oh, those are actually separate pieces. So we'll clean these panels. Including the glass and the window frame. Because it's sticking out, we will have to clean there. Go underneath. Yep, there we are. And we'll do these panels. It's coming up quite nicely as well, isn't it? It's not too bad at all. This, however, is... <laughs> I hate to admit it. The easy bit. Later on, oh yeah, see, we'll have to be doing all of these bits of railing, and we can only do one side, we'll have to work around the other side for the other bits, which is not going to be f that fun, if we're honest, <laughs> but we'll see what we can do. That's, oh is that all one panel, that is all one panel. Good. And the door. That's satisfying. That's very satisfying. Lovely. Just have to spray around at different angles. Try to catch any bits that we may have missed. There's the door. The frame is done as well. Seems to be okay. Continue on. The door panels here. That's good. That's good. Bit at the bottom, that's the plaster's top rear. No, I don't know. We'll get all these panels done, and then I'm going to spray. Um, I'm going to spray the railings up top, and then we'll have to do some very uh, specific. Of cleaning using, well, using the pressure washer, obviously, but also 
utilizing the scaffolding that we have. So this is a bit difficult, this one, because we can't get the angles that are not necessarily required. Although, looking at that, I did manage to accomplish the task. Let's just go up here then. Um, because we're so close to this, we may have to swap out the nozzle for something else. Although it seems to be doing okay. Very sharp angle here though. Although it seems to be alright. Top panel needs a bit more cleaning. There we go, a bit more cleaning, but we managed to get that. See in and around here this edge as well. And so far we haven't need to use the scaffolding. It might have might have might have been beneficial to use it. Maybe it would have been a bit a little bit better. But there you go. So this is ooh, slowly falling off there. I thought it was moving. Sometimes when you're sliding off, it doesn't really like occur to me that that's happening. It just feels a bit off. Like it's ooh, like a bit like sort of seasick. I don't know, it doesn't really make much sense, but when you're slowly, slowly drifting like that, it's like, oh, you have to like, I sort of catch myself thinking, oh, what's that? Uh, that's very that's really strange. But there you are. Um, okay, so we've got that done. I'm going to almost fall off. There we are. I'm going to go in here then, and I'm going to spray... I'm going to spray all of the inside of the, the railing and such. Now, obviously, there's a lot, a lot here to clean. But also there's a lot of like facets to these railings. So I'm just gonna spray around this edge. Which I notice is actually rusty as well. So we may need to get some cleaner on this. Um, my original plan was to do the railings and I'm totally ignoring my original plan. So, railings. Okay, so when was the last time we really did some railings? Oh, okay, flashbacks to the, uh... <laughs> flashbacks to the Stego slide when we were in the park. The park was a decent mission, but the Stego slide was definitely trying. Although a lot of that was to do with uh, inexperience in the weird press... The, the ways of pressure washing. Um... But yeah, what else? We do lots of railings in Treehouse. Possibly my least favourite mission in the game. Certainly took a while to do. You can see I'm attacking at multiple angles. That's the standard procedure here. Work from one side. Like that up to the pole so we know where we've been on the other side and then you get hopefully the majority of the dirt but the proof is in the pudding as the set okay, up to there which is good go up this side go up there I haven't actually went prone for a lot of this, so there's still bits that we've will have been able to be missed, but I'll do that in a moment. Get the top bit done. There we go. There's that. I'm going to go prone. Just to get underneath there as well. Which is ones that are easy to miss. Dirt under there. And underneath here. There. And 
should be the majority of that done. What we'll do is we'll work back while prone to clean under there as well. Nice. And now we are going backwards. <laughs> yeah, down there. Uh, while it's still dirty. Okay, let's go ahead and... Ooh. Got a big frame drop there. Very, uh... Very strange for a moment. So you can see all this, uh... Check plate here. All the names are available, I think. There you are. Well, that's a brand name, but still getting clean here. I'm getting loads of stuttering as well. Whoa, that's really bad stuttering. And there's that. Cleaned up to there. Then obviously there's this top ring as well. Right, okay. I'm going to... We do need to clean this. I think we need to clean this with some... with some cleaner, don't we? Let's go ahead. Cleaner. Metal cleaner's actually in already, so... Just gonna hit this with a metal cleaner. Quick application. Goes a long way. Pressing tab, just to see where the majority of that stuff is. Only a tiny bit of rust left. And there we go, there's that. Okay, good. Uh, you can see there's little bits on the side that I've missed as well. There, yeah. okay. And then along here. And, well... I don't want to clean all of this. I don't want to clean that. I think we're going to get on this scaffolding here. But, ooh, big fall, big fall. There we are. Right, so we need to get up there and clean. Oh, under there is going to be a nightmare too. Right, but either way, we need to clean the railings on the outside there. But I'm just going to restart the game because for whatever reason, I'm getting terrible, terrible frame drops. One moment. Okay, a cheeky restart, and hopefully everything will be fine now. Let's pick up the scaffolding, and I want to work it round to probably here. Um, although I fear that it's not going to fit in. Uh, that's going to be... That's going to be... Oh, no, that's fine. I was going to say, that's going to be a nightmare if we can't fit that in there. And we're going to clean uh, that edge, I think. That should do. Is that fine? Yeah, that's all right. So how many floors is this? This has got one, two... Three stuck, <laughs> four, five, and oh, no railings at all on this one. That's that's very curious. And oh, immediately we're getting lots and lots of ting noises as we clean here. Um, obviously, these railings I'm hoping to get done in one hit, but realistically, we're not gonna get it all, are we? Um, we have to move it around. I'll clean over there as well. Although, probably go with the extra long extension in order to clean this. It's something that was recently added. Um, actually, not really recently added, now that I think of it. It was added with the... Um, I think it was the mansion. Yeah, it was the mansion. It's like a really long extension for... As you can see, long distance cleaning. And it, uh, it does exactly what it says, really. It's uh, for cleaning long range. Now, my intent was not was just to clean the top there, but with the scaffolding where it is, it would be probably probably best to try and clean as much as we can before moving this. Not going to do that. Oh, God, we're getting the panels on there as well. That's very nice. Um. I mean, that's the thing. We could clean all the way down and then move the scaffolding all the way down. But that's probably a more efficient way of doing it. However, I'm very tempted to not do, do it that way because of the inherent dangers of just forgetting where we've been. 
at least if we know if we're cleaning down we've got to that level whereas if we have to clean all the way down we'd have to follow these it is doable it's very much doable but i think i'm going to stick with the the more vertical approach and work top down okay just fall off that scaffold uh break our ankles in 16 different places and then we'll work back to the top and come down from there and get stuck in them corners. Um, we could probably, we probably don't need to go to the to the next level. Probably here is sufficient. There you go. Seems to be sufficient. Just gonna go prone. Oh, it's underneath there as well. Okay. Cleaned. There. Be very conscious of the edge. Obviously, a lot of that we can just clean from below. There's all the lights coming up nice as well. Good. Okay, so can highly recommend the very long extension. It really, really is good. Especially for this nozzle that we've got. It's really good. It is very, very good indeed. Yeah, can recommend. Can recommend. Um, probably best to... Go down one. See the spits we've missed. But then we can just jump over here. And build, then and build. And clean that way. There we go. Do it like that. We're still challenged by stairs. We can clean, but we often can't navigate stairs correctly. Um, see, this is the extra long-range nozzle. With this on, it's almost too difficult to clean at this distance. You want it further away, if nothing else, if anything. Um, the problem is going to be the front. That's what pretty much cleaned. Um, okay. The front, because I guess I can put it there. Will that work? Well, we don't know until we find out, and the fun is in finding out. Mm, I'm going to clean from here. <laughs> I don't know if you noticed, look. For top frame ring. The lights have uh, included the spray. So it's not clean. Okay, let's get under there. Stacy, Kev's getting his health skeleton clean now, is he? That's hilarious. What's so amusing about someone cleaning a health skeleton? Maybe I'm not in on the joke. Maybe we're not getting paid. <laughs> Don't listen to his claptrap. That thing's been a nice sort for years. And I think Stacy's the owner of that. She just realised he's got a gnome staring at us. <laughs> just trying to clean back over. I have a feeling cleaning that top frame ring is going to be a nightmare. There's just something that's digging away, going, that's going to be nice, that one. You're going to spend all your time removing moving that uh, moving that bit of scaffold endlessly. We'll see. At least the railings uh, are coming up nice. They are not being a pain. It's something that's been quite pleasurable to clean, actually. I think because we we cleaned it methodically, we specifically <laughs> cleaned. Um, 
Oh, top frame ring clean. Excellent. Yeah, we specifically cleaned the bits of railing, knowing that we were going to have problems with it. So we cleaned on the inside as much as we can. And then worked out from there. Oh, nice. Double ting. And see this dirt up the top there. I'm going to just go down one level just to see if that would help us clean some dirt. Oh, we very much will. There's still going to be loads left, I understand that, but... We can at least get some. Underneath there. Might be difficult to see. If I press tab, it'll be a lot easier. Yeah, there you go. There's the bits. Okay, so let's move the... Move this once again. Can I do that and get in here? Yes, we can! Skills to pay the cleaning bills. And I think that's all of the railings and posts done. Nice. Okay. Um, so we need a system, don't we? We definitely need a system. I think it is to clean... Up to there, maybe. Yeah. Starting to clean the side base here. Clean that as well. And what I'm going to do is work up. Or rather, go to the top. Let's see which way I can work. Oh, there's that ring around there, which is good. That's a support. Um, if I put this... Why can't I... Oh, you can't jump while holding this, which is a shame. Let's go on the edge, move it closer, then get in here. What I want to do is get those supports done. Basically, I'm cleaning up to this ring here. This, that one there. So we clean up to that. Clean up to that and we know what it is. At least we know that it's like on that level. But there's bits up there that we've missed, so I'm going to have to head back. Let's head back. Um, when I say head back, I mean jump on, the, on this thing and walk up. Currently on 24% clean though, so... We are progressing nicely. Switch over to the short extension. That should suffice for this. And start cleaning in here. That's... Oh, I was going to say, why is that all green? It's because it's the material. It's the material. And this is where... Obviously we failed cleaning. I said at the start of the episode that this was going to be one of the most challenging bits to clean because it's how, how much things are stuck. Don't know how I'm going to do that one. Okay. Let's clean back over the side rail. Pay attention on not to... Actually, going prone works out very well. Uh, yeah, pay attention to where we're cleaning, because if we get to... Oh, it's because of this way it's curved, it's going to be a little nightmare. Um, yeah, if we get too overzealous, we'll end up cleaning all the way to the bottom with this. Which, quite frankly, I'm not opposed to. <laughs> Getting the whole inside of this done. Simply because when we get overspray, it's going to hit all manner of things. Yeah, I think we'll do. Can we just do the edge of this and around? It sort of makes sense to clean in here. Prone for a moment just to get underneath. There's a tiny little lip. Yeah, yeah, there's a tiny little lip just to. 
block the block the green. Ah! The bloom! Ah! <laughs> okay, we found another hazard of the job. Uh, you can uh, have your retinas completely burnt out by the bloom. I imagine if it was a hot day as well. You gotta fry an egg on this thing. <laughs> okay, so we are gonna do a full cleaning of the slide and the sides. Now obviously the sides won't be fully clean because there's the outside to do as well. sort of feud is going on between the two ride owners. Who knows? I'm sure they'll tell us because the denizens of this place like to air their dirty laundry as it were. And we're often the first to hear. Muckingham should be renamed to Goss of Town or something. Other terrible suggestions are available. There we go. Exactly there. We're only about halfway, I think, as well, on the cleaning of this uh, slide. Also, not a dramatic amount of overspray because it is essentially a big tub. Big U shape. A couple of bits missing up there. Nothing we have to overly concern ourselves with at this stage. There we go. The slide itself is got this half clean and the side wall is the same thing. So yes, we are about halfway down unless the underneath also classes as a uh, slide, but I don't think so. I think that's a separate thing. Oh, look at that. <laughs> In my haste. It's cleaning. A lot less there. Okay. Cleaning up to there. Working down. Idea. Yeah, let's see, I have a rough idea of how high we are by just looking out. And also this tells you the stories. <laughs> we are one, two, three stories up at the moment, I think. For a second. So far, it's quite enjoyable, this map. I was concerned about the uh, possibility of it being really annoying to clean because of like in there see in there you notice know, it's not dirty deliberately not put dirt there just to make it less troublesome which although not as perhaps accurate if this if this if if the story is to believe that this fell down an entire mountainside or whatever. Let's be honest, the game isn't exactly about realism. And I will happily take fun over that any day. And less distractions and annoyances. More dirt there. Nice reflection as well. See that? Just reflecting that. And just get round this edge. Uh, yep. Okay. 
bloom is back again because of the way we're facing. Finish that side. And we're near the bottom now. I mean, maybe we're doing this completely wrong because we're cleaning essentially the... I mean, I don't know if working parts is the right term. Well, it isn't, but hope you're, hopefully you understand what I mean. This, this is the bit that, of all of the things, needs to be cleaned. Because this is where you sit and go down on a... What do you go down? You don't go... It's like a sit on like a, a sack or something. I don't know what the traditional thing was. Anyway, you go down it. I mean, I, I can't imagine going down it on anything with wheels. <laughs> Come out there, back three. <laughs> Just go straight through the uh, straight through slam dunk as well. Ironically, where the arrow is. Um, I thought that was deliberate. Actually, looking exactly where it, exactly where it is, you come like you just go around and round and round and round, and then slam straight through. Um, I wonder if there's a ball around here actually that we can put the, to bring to the top, spray it to the top, and uh, and let it go. See what it's like. But yeah, this is the working bit, you know. So maybe if we once we finish cleaning this. The owner would go, you know what, you've cleaned, you've cleaned all the bits I need to be cleaned, uh, we'll call it a day and, um, you know, no problem, there you go. Apparently your technique is excellent, thank you. I really appreciate that, uh, really appreciate that, Kevin. Cheers, Kev. And there we go, there's the edges done. Let's have a quick stand back and, yeah, we can see what we've done so far. It is not too bad at all. Jet control, 8 out of 10, apparently. <laughs> yeah. There it is. Knowledge of apertures, 9 out of 10 apparently. So he says. Soap discretion. 8... 8.5 uh, out of 10. Well, I've only used the soap once on the metal up top. The cleaner. Stance, 9.3 out of 10. Good. <laughs> Posture, 2 out of 10. Would nerd hunch again. Uh, right. What are we missing? Signs clean. Sign post isn't. Congratulations, apparently. I'm trying to get the rest of this done. Why is that sign post not clean? Oh, hang on. Under there, see that? There we go. Right, so we've cleaned 40% of this thing. So I think that is a perfect time to leave it there. That's been a bit of Power Wash Simulator. We've managed to clean uh, the top section and then the slide all the way down plus the, plus the sign there. And I think that is a decent job so far. Next episode, we will continue on with the cleaning. That's what it's about. It's about chill cleaning and we'll basically spray around and keep working around and then work down i mean as i said i could sp work from the top and just spray it all the way down and move it around and all the way down i don't know we'll maybe try one section if that works out then we'll maybe implement that either way hope you have enjoyed this episode and this series thus far comments in the comments thanks very much for watching take care and generic partings <laughs>